So ants are bad news, but one critter that gets a bad name is surprisingly helpful to farmers. We're talking about bats. To find out how they benefit agriculture, Merlin Tuttle, founder of Bat Conservation International, brought me to Bracken Cave, not far from San Antonio. Twenty million Mexican free-tailed bats live all in this one cave, covering the walls at 200 to 500 bats per square foot. Texas farmers are fortunate to have the largest bat colony in the world in their neighborhood. Why? Well, the bats go after insects that damage crops, like the corn ear worm moth. You can see the damage where it's eaten kernels at the top of the cob. And during that time, it's within the husk of the, uh, the corn. John Westbrook is a scientist with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. He studies the impact of bats on the insect population in Texas and the region. The bats also go after the cotton boll worm moth. You can see where they've burrowed right in there. The boll worm will tunnel into the, the bowl and eat the seed and soft tissue inside of the, of the bowl and the bowl will either drop from the plant so it will no longer grow or it will be damaged so that when it is ready to be harvested it's an incomplete or poor quality uh, cotton bowl. So you can see why protecting the bats is a priority for scientists like Westbrook and Merlin Tuttle. These bats face dangers from wind turbine developments and a new virus that's spreading fast. Imagine what the San Antonio area would be like with an extra 200 tons of insects every night. That's what could happen if these bats were lost. It's just before 8 o'clock and the bats are leaving Bracken Cave by the millions. It's an unbelievable sight. While we're sleeping tonight, these bats are going to be munching on insects all over the state. The flow of bats from the cave continues for hours into the night. Millions setting their sights on bugs that damage crops all over the region. They'll fly thousands of feet up in the sky, catch tailwinds that, so that if the bat can travel at say 35 or 40 miles an hour and it goes up there and catches a 50 mile an hour tailwind, it's doing real time heading out and Doppler weather radar it indicates that these bats may on single evenings go all the way down to the coast to feed. 